Hello, international students. My name is Emily, and I'm an international admissions and recruitment officer here at Carleton University. And today I'm going to talk to you about applying to Carleton from the American High School curriculum, and I'm going to let you know everything that you need in order to apply. So hopefully by this point, you feel ready to apply to Carleton. Uh, you've checked out our beautiful Riverside campus and some of our pictures and videos that we have online. Hopefully you've learned about all of our programs. We have a really wide range and a broad choice of programs uh, with over 100 different majors at our school. Uh, we have a bunch of award-winning faculty that you'll be able to learn from. Uh, we are in the top 10 for employability, which includes cooperative education, work placements uh, throughout our over 100 different programs at our school. And of course, we have a very caring community. So when you uh, arrive at Carleton University, you'll be a part of our community, you'll be integrated into our community, and you'll be able to learn about how you can make the most of your Carleton experience. Now let's talk about what you need in order to apply. So the admission requirements. We really encourage you to check the admission requirements on our website because they do vary from program to program. If you go to um, admissions.carleton.ca, you'll be able to find a really handy tool uh, that you can see here on this slide. You can put in your education background, your curriculum and the program that you're interested in, and we will tell you exactly what you need in order to be uh, accepted into the program of your choice. Now, something to note is that academic performance in your final years of school are the key factors that we look at. We don't, look, we don't require any essays, um, letters of recommendations, or SATs typically, uh, we, and we consider the highest level taken in any subject. So for example, if you have taken chemistry um, in grade 10 and it's not available in grade 11 or 12, then we will look at your chemistry mark from grade 10. Now, like I said, entry averages uh, depend on the program that you are applying to, they vary. So please make sure that you look at the program that you are interested in and learn about what it is you need in order to be accepted into that program. Required documents also vary depending on the program. So for most of our programs, we only look at your grades, uh, but some of our programs do have a supplementary application and I will go into more detail about that in just a few minutes. We do also have Eng English language requirements, which I will talk about uh, in a few minutes from now as well. So for the prerequisite subjects that you need, they will vary uh, from program to program. So make sure that you know what you need in order to be uh, given an offer of admission to the program of your choice. Uh, but we will look at the highest level available. So just like I said a minute ago, um, if you're taking chemistry or another science course and it's at the grade 10 level, but it's not offered later on, we will look at your mark from your grade 10 level chemistry. But if it is offered later on in grade 11 or 12, we will require you to have that grade and we will look at that grade. For math, pre-calculus is the minimum that we require. Uh, AP calculus or calculus also meet requirements. And minimum grades for prerequisite courses are B minus. So we need to make sure that you have that B minus grade in order to be eligible for the program of your choice. Now for transfer credit. Uh, transfer credit is also known as advanced standing. Uh, so that means that a course that you have already taken may transfer over to your, uh, to your degree at Carleton. And we can give uh, credit for up to three APs with a minimum grade of four out of five. Now you must submit your AP results in order to be considered for transfer credit. And this will be a part of the admission process when you're applying, we'll ask you to upload these documents uh, to your application. Now you may be wondering, how do you apply? So the first step is to complete the online application and you can do this either through Carleton 360 or OUAC. You will upload your documents on whichever platform you are choosing to apply on. And then this is where you will also monitor your application and view your decision. Now you might be wondering, should I apply on Carleton 360 or should I apply on OUAC? Let me just break it down for you. The OUAC, which is the Ontario University's Application Center, is a really good way to apply if you are applying to more than one university in Ontario. It gives you three different applications. So you can apply to Carleton as well as another university. Uh, the fee is about 166 Canadian dollars to apply, and if you decide to add more programs or more universities on top of those three that you get, there will be an additional fee, but you are more than welcome to do that. Now, if you are only applying to Carleton, then we recommend that you apply directly through our website. You can go to 360.carleton.ca. 
The application fee is about 100 Canadian dollars for this application. It will give you two programs that you can apply to. Um, and we recommend that you apply through Carleton 360 if you are only applying to Carleton. Um, this is a really great um, hub that you can use when you're researching programs. This is also where you will go to monitor your, your application and view your decision uh, once we have made one. Now, the deadline to apply for our programs is April 1st, 2022. However, there are a few of our programs that have earlier deadlines because they have a supplementary application, just like I mentioned a few minutes ago. So the programs with early deadlines that have an additional or supplementary application are architectural studies, humanities, industrial design, information technology, the uh, interactive multimedia and design stream, music, and social work. So these all have different supplementary applications. For example, for music, you'll have to submit an audition. Uh, for social work, you'll need uh, a couple letters of recommendation and you'll have to answer some essay type questions. So it depends on what you're applying to, but make sure to check our website so that you uh, know when these uh, deadlines are for these programs. Now, you might be wondering, what documents do I need in order to apply? So first off, you're gonna to need to upload your high school transcripts showing grades nine to 11. Any senior level results, so midterms or end of semester grades or AP exam results also need to be submitted. And then we may request other documents such as an English language test score. And we include, or sorry, we accept things like IELTS, TOEFL and KALE. We will also ask you to provide your official transcripts once they are made available to you. Now, in terms of the English requirement, uh, grade 12 English alone does not fulfill this requirement. However, you may be able to get a waiver if you have been studying in a fully English curriculum uh, for at least three years, and it needs to be full time. If you don't meet that requirement, then we will require that you submit an English language test score. And we offer, or sorry, we accept a few different, uh, we accept a few different tests. So uh, the ones that we accept are TOEFL, IELTS, Pearson PTE, Duolingo, Cambridge, and you can even check our website to see uh, the scores that you need on each of these tests in order to be eligible for admission. We do also have a minimum cutoff for entry with ESL requirement. So if you reach a certain score, um, then you may be able to be given an offer of admission with the requirement that you take some ESL courses within your first years at Carleton. And all of this information is on our website if you go to admissions.carleton.ca slash ESL. For the admission timeline, uh, the first step is to submit your application. Once you submit your application, you will receive an acknowledgement email um, all, with also some uh, document requests. We'll ask you to upload your documents directly to Carlson 360. This is the portal that we recommend that you check often because we do our admissions on a rolling basis. So that means that once we receive applications, we process them and then we try to send out offers as soon as possible, uh, rather than having just certain dates of the year where we send out a bunch of offers. So make sure that you're checking this, especially uh, throughout the months of February to May. You can also monitor your Carlton 360 account uh, for additional document requests. Uh, there's, a doc there's a checklist that you can look at. Um, and you need to make sure that you accept your offer uh, by the deadline. So um, you'll get an email once we've made a decision. We'll ask you to go into your Carlton 360 account to view your decision. And then you will have to submit or you'll have to accept that um, offer by uh, the deadline. We also have an important deadline, which is accepting your offer of residence. And that must be done by June 8th in order to secure your spot. And then you will register for courses in June and provide final documents once you have all of those available to you. Now, what is in your offer? Uh, in your offer letter, you will receive uh, your offer of admission. Uh, you'll receive scholarship information. So if you're eligible for one of our scholarships, we will let you know. And I'm gonna go into more detail about scholarships in just a minute. You'll be given a guaranteed spot in residence if you are coming to university straight from high school. Uh, and we'll let you know that in the offer letter as well. You will also be able to use your offer letter to apply for a study permit. And there will also be information in your offer letter about uh, a conditional versus a final offer. So those are some really important things to, um, to keep your eye out for once you receive that, uh, that offer of admission. Now for entrance scholarships. 
Uh, we understand that university is very expensive and we really want to help students fund their education as much as we can. So we offer automatic merit-based entrance awards, which are renewable and regainable. This means that if your uh, grades meet any of the grades on the screen right here, so if you have a B minus or higher coming into university, then you will receive one of our automatic entrance scholarships. And as you can see on the screen, the more, uh, the higher your grades, the more money we'll be able to give you. So for example, if you're coming in with an A minus average, you will be given a $12,000 scholarship, which means that each year you will receive $3,000 from us um, and spread out over your four years will equal $12,000. Now, I really want you to uh, stay connected with us. We are here to help you. I am part of a team of international admissions and recruitment officers, uh, and we're here for your success and to answer any questions that you have. So please feel free um, to book a one-on-one -on -one meeting with us, which you can do on our website. You can send us instant messages. We have live chats uh, every weekday, Monday to Friday. Uh, and we also have guided virtual campus tours. So if you wanna check out our campus, but you obviously can't come to our physical campus, uh, please feel free to have a look at our, our guided virtual tour online. It'll give you a sense of what the Carleton campus and community is like. Now, please let us know if you have any questions throughout this process, because like I said, we're here to help you. Um, you can email us at any time at international at carleton.ca. Uh, you can also stay connected with us on our social media channels um, and, and keep up to date on our website with all of our events coming up. So I just want to thank you so much for joining me. Um, it was a pleasure being able to speak to you and good luck applying to Carlton.